The term SUV doesn't mean what it used to. These days, sport utility vehicles are a lot more like their car counterparts, with unibody construction, independent suspensions, and an emphasis on ride quality and handling. The Toyota 4Runner bucks most of those trends, offering a super rugged, off-road oriented build for buyers hankering after a traditional SUV. How does it look? I'm sure I'll get heat in the comment section for saying it, but this is my favorite 4Runner design in the model's illustrious history. Yes, it has a weird looking front fascia and a needle nose when viewed in profile, but the SUV is so distinctive that you'll never mistake it for one of the many more generic SUV forms. How's the storage? Now, the 4Runner is actually pretty long, so without the optional third row seat, there's actually a ton of room for storage back here. It's almost 90 cubic feet, meaning it'll easily swallow all of our luggage from away. Another feature that I love about the 4Runner is that it has this slide out tray that'll hold up to 440 pounds. That means it's great for camping or tailgating. The weird cup holder layout and collection of small cubbies reflect the older design of this cabin. It's not great for gadgets. I have to sacrifice a cup holder space to stash my larger smartphone, for instance. Is it roomy? There's more than enough space for even big and tall folks in the front and back seats, though that second row isn't nearly so roomy as you'd find in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. How does the interior feel? Now, everything in here, from these fabric seats to these chunky control knobs to the sort of plasticky trim bits I see everywhere, says that the interior is prioritized function over form. And I think that's okay. If you're using this vehicle in dirty and muddy places, you probably want the interior that's a little bit more washable and low rent. Is it well equipped? This TRD off-road model steps up from the base SR5 trim in terms of dirt track prowess. This model gets a locking rear differential, as well as Toyota's branded crawl control, which modulates throttle and braking during low-speed off-roading adventures. Our model also has the optional kinetic dynamic suspension system, allowing the sway bars to disconnect and giving an even greater overall amount of wheel articulation. Combine that with the old-school solid rear axle, a true low-range transfer case, and nearly 10 inches of ground clearance, and you have one of the strongest out-of-the-box off-roaders you can buy. How's the infotainment system? This little 6.1 inch screen actually houses the quote unquote premium version of the 4Runner infotainment, though you wouldn't guess that at a glance. The Entune system features navigation, Bluetooth connectivity, and hands-free operation, but not a lot else. If you're looking for a nice display, smooth operations, good graphics, or Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, you'll want to look elsewhere. Is it a good daily driver? Now don't get me wrong, if you live in a place that's unimproved, meaning you're driving on gravel roads or off-road or in deep snow a lot of the time, something like the 4Runner is gonna save your life. You're gonna love it. But if you're like most people in America and you're driving in cities or suburbs a lot of the time, well, it's just a little bit less fun then. Because of the long travel on the suspension and the solid rear axle, the handling isn't all that great. There's a lot of sort of vertical motion in the car and things like brake, dive, and squat are pronounced maybe even excessive in a car like this. Is it fun to drive? Now, if you listen closely, some people might get excited by that engine note, but the reality is, is that this powertrain, the four liter V6 engine and the five speed automatic transmission are just a little bit on the rough side. Again, they kind of fit with the agrarian spirit of this car, but they're not exactly refined. Now, on the other hand, if you are using this vehicle's capability, it is rather enjoyable to drive because frankly, it'll go anywhere. So it's got a level of charm to it that you just kind of can't get past when you drive it. If you've ever owned or really liked an older SUV, this will bring all of those memories flooding back to you. 
Now, the V6 engine is making 270 horsepower and 278 pound-feet of torque. That torque figure is actually pretty high for the class, but the fact is, it doesn't really do anything to make this big vehicle feel quick. You're not gonna get a lot of spirited thrills, certainly not in any kind of cornering situation in the 4Runner. How's the fuel economy? The 4Runner TRD off-road is rated at 17 miles per gallon city and 20 highway, which is pretty dismal compared to the competitors from Jeep, Nissan, and Ford. This old school power plant and five speed auto cost the Toyota at least a few MPG points when compared to the newer, smaller, and more efficient V6s in the rival SUVs. How much is it? Starting prices for the 4Runner range from $34,000 to $42,000 and our TRD off-road truck is right in the middle, with an MSRP of $37,335 and a total price of $40,220. This competitive pricing is backed up by rock-solid Toyota residual values, meaning the 4Runner should depreciate less than comparable models. What are the negatives? There's no question that this Toyota is unabashedly old school. And that means for most regular drivers, the relatively poor ride quality, skimpy feature set, and gas guzzling engine are gonna be more than enough reason to look elsewhere. Who should buy it? For someone who appreciates the ruggedness and durability of the 4Runner, there's just not much on the market that competes with it anymore. Somebody looking for an amazing off-roader with great durability is not gonna regret putting this beast in their driveway. Thanks everybody for watching yet another Why Buy. We hope that you enjoyed it and we also hope that you leave a comment or question down below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. We have a new Why Buy for you every Thursday. We'd also love to see you at MotorOne.com.